What? Mario is missing on floppy disks? Never seen that. Hey everyone, I'm your host Jason Lapine and welcome to the last part of our 14 part series here on Indie Corner. Now over the past month I've listed over 100 upcoming Wii U indie titles and today we're going to wrap that up with the miscellaneous categories, listing off a bunch of games we just didn't know how to categorize. Now since I've started listing these games there have been a ton of new announcements, making my list obsolete pretty fast. This is why on June 18th, right after E3, we'll be launching the new weekly Indie Corner show filled with indie game news, features, fun facts, as well as some giveaways, so keep an eye out for that. Over the next few weeks, you can look forward to a special feature covering this amazing game store and what's inside it, as well as two of my new shows, Nintendo Nation and the Wii 100, on top of our usual content. So let's wrap this one up by going right into our miscellaneous games, all within five minutes. Setting the beat, we have Beat Buddy, Tale of the Guardians, developed by Threeks. Awakened from his slumber, Beat Buddy journeys through lush, hand-painted environments on a quest to save his companions and his own immortality. Beat Buddy interacts with the living, breathing environment that pulses to the beat of an original soundtrack, aiding him as he unlocks new paths and solves puzzles. As for a release date, we're still waiting on a confirmation from Threeks. Our next title is Momonga Pinball Adventures, developed by Paladin Studios. Instead of regular pinball, Momonga grabs inspiration from games such as the classic Sonic Spinball and contains levels, enemies, and boss fights. As the hero Momo, a young Momonga who barely survived an owl attack on his village, it's up to you to win back his tribe and stop the owl general Kutan. Join forces with a friendly panda and an ambitious firefly as you roll, fly, and bounce your way to victory. Still no word on a release date for this title. Next we have a survival horror game titled Forgotten Memories developed by Psychos Interactive. Take on the role of Inspector Rose Hawkins as she wakes up wounded in a strange place she doesn't recognize. While exploring the hallways of an old abandoned asylum to save a lost soul, she will find herself locked in a never-ending tragedy like frozen in time. She will have to confront her fears to unveil the mystery behind her terrifying investigation. You can look this one up in the eShop later this year. Get an instant vacation on your own tropical island in Castaway Paradise developed by Stolen Couch Games. Decorate the island, play dress up, collect bugs, grow crops, and help out your new neighbors. On Castaway Paradise, you can do whatever you like. Enjoy outstanding 3D graphics, fun quests, and characters, and great gameplay. Stolen Couch is still hard at work porting their game to the Wii U, and no release date has yet been confirmed. While no official statement has been made, there are strong signs showing that Kickbeat, developed by Zen Studios, is coming to the Wii U. This title lets players beat up mobs of enemies to some hard-hitting soundtracks. Beat machine mechanics come to life in this kung fu style music fighter, featuring licensed tracks from a diverse lineup of artists. We'll let you know once we get more news on a confirmation for a release, and of course when a release date is announced. As many of you know, Nintendo started off as a company that sold Hanafuda cards, but how many of you actually know how to play with them? Here's your chance to learn in Kiki's Koi Koi, developed by How7. The game is based on the popular Japanese card game Koi Koi, which is a two-player card game that uses Japanese cards known as Hanafuda. The goal of the game is to match certain cards to make sets called Koi Koi. This title will be available on the eShop later this year. And that's all the upcoming Wii U indie title games I have for you today. Remember, for more Nintendo indie game news and coverage, tune into Indie Corner Show launching June 18th. Remember to join me next week as we explore what this game store has to offer. See you then.